Everybody knows that it don't feel right I was waiting up in your darkest nights Why's it always hurt when you need it most? Well, top of the morning to ya! I totally slept in today. It is currently 9.05 in the morning. I was planning on getting up at 7.30 and going for a run. I'm supposed to meet Kat for some shopping. Today's actually Black Friday, even though that's so not a Canadian thing. Canada's trying to make it a Canadian thing, so there's some sales and stuff going on. Besides the point, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm getting a little bit of a late start to my morning, but it's Friday, so I feel like that's totally okay. And I, I'm like, when I say I just woke up, I'm not kidding you, this is me in all of the glory that is just waking up, so don't judge me. I feel like it just felt so long since I vlogged, so I definitely knew I wanted to vlog this weekend. There's a bunch of really fun stuff that I'm gonna be doing in this vlog and tagging you guys along with me. So first things first, um, I'm doing my normal morning routine. It has been my latest obsession to make a coffee, come in and sit down at my computer and I'll read my horoscope, which is literally what's open right now. Totally unsponsored and being 100% real with you guys, the best place I think to read your horoscope is L.com because they get the Astro Twins to do it. And I don't know why, but it always just seems to be the best one. So I'm just taking a gander at, you know, what my life might be. Funny enough, the first line of my horoscope today tells me to hit the snooze button, even if that means missing the Black Friday sale. Do you see what I mean? Restoration is a must. A rested mind is a fertile landscape for creative genius. You can have your white light moment while sipping on a mug of hot cider and staring out the window, but since the foggy day can throw off your intuition, bring a friend alongside for safety's sake. Well, I definitely don't plan on doing anything too crazy tonight, but we'll see. So funny enough, I actually ended up vlogging, I think a few days two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, when I was decorating my Christmas tree. I don't even remember what footage I got, but just in case you guys want to know or see her, and I'm like honestly out of curiosity, I want to see what I filmed. Let's cut to that, shall we? Mr. Nicholson. I like it. Good morning! I literally got home last night from Mexico. Yes, I know we haven't addressed it yet, but I cut my hair. The day before I left for Mexico, I went and got my hair done and I asked her to give me some bangs. They're like a mixture between Bridget Bardot and Straight Across. Like I can wear them like this or they can separate and I can do a bit more of the Bridget Bardot thing. I've been waiting to listen to Reputation because it came out last night and I want to film a live reaction, which I think I'm going to film today because there's no way I can go the whole day without listening to it, so. Shit, my whole face. I'm gonna go for a run after this, but really quick. I wanna listen to Reputation because Maggie texted me and said it was really good to work out to. So I still wanted to film my reaction. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna go work out to it. I wish I had recorded like my first listenings to every Taylor Swift album through history because I can still vividly remember hearing Red for the first time. I can still vividly remember hearing Speak Now for the first time. When I listened to 1989, no matter what, I feel like I'll always be a Swifty. It makes sense that this is the first song, you know? The next one has Ed Sheeran in it, so I feel like this could go well. I wanna be an end game, and you heard about me. How is Ed Sheeran gonna fit in this? Yeah, okay. This kind of sounds like Lord. I am gonna be so pumped to go for a run. Wow. Okay, don't blame me. Please tell me there's a sick beat drop. Why? Everyone keeps telling me they don't like the new album. This is, this is, this is incredible. I love it. I love it. We can't make time on the east side where you at. This is so good. All eyes on you, my magician. It's so simple. Oh my god. This one's my favorite. I am, I am so here for new Taylor. This is so good. Oh my god. The times were black, the lies were white. <sighs> I am so excited to dance party to this later. Shake it from 
This might be my new favorite. <laughs> my favorite. Okay, dress is my favorite for sure. My phone is ringing. Girls carrying the shoes down in the lobby. Oh my god, okay, so that, wait, was that it? No, I wanted deluxe. That was, that was, that was so good. So good. Hi, love <laughs> Bentley is officially home. I'm like low-key a little sad because I've packed up all of my, my Halloween stuff. I'm gonna have to go put it in my storage locker tomorrow, which is a little sad, but I'm ready to start pulling out all the Christmas stuff. Red number two of the vlog. Today I'm switching over to the East because I was Googling a bunch of stuff of the beets that I have, and apparently they die if it's colder than zero degrees, which it is in Toronto. <laughs> We picked up my new Christmas tree. If you guys remember my Christmas tree from the last few years, we had a good run with that Christmas tree actually, but all the lights burnt out. We're gonna put up the tree, we're gonna make cookies, I'm gonna make Greg watch Elf. Have you seen Elf? footage that I had pre-vlogged for a vlog and then it was just one of those things where I don't know what happened but like four days went by and I hadn't vlogged anything so I was like ooh this isn't gonna work. Now currently 9 10 meaning it's been five minutes since we've begun. I need to take Bentley for a quick walk and then I'm gonna try and go for a run. I'm not sure I'm probably gonna go to the mall looking pretty ratchet. Actually I enjoy shopping in my true drowned rat nature. It just it feels more right. I don't know why. When I'm too dulled up and I'm shopping I get like hot and I'm like like you know, like lipsticks kind of, like I just, I like being a little bit murpy when I go to the mall. So, I got pretty much no Christmas shopping done, which was the whole goal of going Black Friday shopping, and I got a lot of self-shopping done. My only justification is that I got so much work done this week that I feel like it's still not justified, but I'm trying to justify it. Um, I'll start with Victoria's Secret, because that's the first place I bought stuff. So, from Victoria's Secret, I went and picked up. I was feeling quite festive. I actually was thinking the other day about how much I kind of wanted a new one, and when I saw the red one, well, its physical presence is answer enough as to what happened. So this is the robe that I got from Victoria's Secret. I'll stand up so you guys can see it. It's just like a red, silky robe. This one has pockets! Quality purchase. There's literally nothing better than finding out something you bought has pockets. So the next thing I got was this shirt here. So this one I justified because I've been running a lot lately. Running has been, honestly, I've been just so addicted to it. I think I told you guys kind of in Utober or towards the end of Utober that my anxiety is and was getting really bad. It's the days that I run, I find it so much more manageable and I don't know, I just don't know how to explain it. So I decided to treat myself to this. This is the shirt that I got. Probably gonna wear it on my run tomorrow. Last but not least, I got another sweater. Again, solely for running, but also for like chilling. I've been really into red lately. It's a nice like pop of color, because usually I wear so much black, white, and gray. I have been running outside despite the fact that it's like almost December. And this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's got like slits in the sides. 
and it's gonna be perfect for running and for chilling. This is actually really comfortable. So that's everything I got from Victoria's Secret. Next I'll do Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works was 40% off everything in the store today. Here I got the flannel, the front of it, and this one sell smells a little bit more subtle. So I picked up that one. The next one that I picked up was Winter Candy Apple. This one's like, this one's one of my favorites to burn in my kitchen. So I picked this one up. My brother and I counted 63 candles and I moved here in January and now it's November and I have like maybe five. I've just been forcing myself to burn them. Life's just too short. Life's too short to not burn your candles. And this one's by far my favorite is campfire donut can we just look at the front of this this is so this is giving me like some stranger things slash like 80s vibes for some reason oh my god it smells like crack cocaine guys plus i love the vibe and then i picked up a small one for my bathroom this one is just the smoked absinthe i like the i like the they're changing things up over at bath and body it smells really good but it also just smells like like clean. So those are the four candles that I picked up. Next I went to Sephora and I basically just picked up a few little things that I needed and some things that I didn't. My eyelash curler broke so I grabbed a new one of those. I stocked up on some lashes because I'm completely out so I picked up um, Fluff and Edgy, Mama Knows Best, and Lie Detector from Velour. I was in the line and I saw a black beauty blender and I didn't even really need a beauty blender but I thought a black one fit my vibe more. After buying it I realized how much I hated myself for the fact that I was that person. And then last but not least, we went into Lucky Brand Jeans and normally I don't shop there because there's a lot of leather and stuff but Kat wanted to check it out and then while I was there they had the sickest logo tees. Now mind you, I know that these are guys t-shirts, but I really like wearing guys t-shirts. Like, like with a pair of jeans and a cute leather jacket, these work. I might even, I might even like cut these up a little bit towards the top, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But the first one I got, Kissmas. Like are you, for, are you for real right now? Oh yeah, guys t-shirts are more comfortable than girls t-shirts. You, you can't tell me different. I thought I picked up Psycho, but it turned out it wasn't Psycho and because I didn't open it, I just looked for the size and left and then found out that it was Jaws and honestly, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. And then the last one I got was a Jack Daniels one. All right. Oh yeah, I'm very happy with today's purchases. It was bananas. Out of those four stores, we went to like two other stores and I was like, I'm tapping out. Too many human beings in one area for me. So I am now going to bake some cookies. I have to head to a dinner tonight with some of the girls from one of my management companies. It's on my Christmas bucket list to perfect chocolate chip cookies and I think I may have done it. I made a batch on Tuesday and it was the best batch I've made so far. Can we witness the glory that is these cookies right now? They're like melt in your mouth perfect. I'm gonna try again, add a bit more sugar, make, make a few adjustments, and then I think I'm just gonna chill for a bit and get a bit of work done on my computer. I'll just switch to a more relevant point in the near future. We're going to the vet. So yes, today is unfortunately one of those days where Bentley needs to go get all of his shots updated. The ironic thing about today is that Bentley and I are both going under the needle, so I'll update you guys after. Bentley, come on, we gotta go. You feeling okay? <laughs> Update. Bentley killed it. He did a good job. And it's also 10.30 in the morning and I've yet to have my morning coffee. Who am I? Well, that'll be first thing on the list. Sunday morning I got home about an hour ago from Greg's I just made myself a coffee and threw on my Kissmas shirt today is Sunday meaning it is going to be the ultimate gist day I have so much cleaning to do I have to edit this video get it up and basically just plan my week and clean pretty much my day is gonna consist of and it's kind of perfect because it's super cloudy and like gloomy outside in Toronto today so 
it's gonna be like the ultimate Sunday. Casually threw in the fact that I went and got a tattoo. So last night, I didn't know if I wanted to verbally update you guys, so I decided to just kind of like do it. So last night, Kat and I, we went to this place called a Matchbox Tattoo, and I went and got these two tattoos touched up. So if you guys have watched my tattoo video, I should probably do an updated one because I officially have seven tattoos now, which is kind of crazy. So if tattoos aren't your thing, that's totally cool. But like, I personally love tattoos. I feel like they're a really cool way of acknowledging like certain chapters or phases of your life. So if you guys remember, when I went to Paris this year with Alana, we got clouds on our fingers. And when my cloud healed, it didn't heal properly, but this was super faded. And then this tattoo, this is my favorite tattoo on my entire body. From the last birthday card that my papa ever sent me, he was on the East Coast, so he had to mail it to me. And well, it was him and my Nana, but my Nana can't see, so she couldn't write. So he wrote my full name on it, and I took the Nicholson of that and, and got it tattooed on the side of my hand. So, so those are the two that I got touched up. I got this tattoo a while ago. It needed to be touched up so bad, but she did a really good job, I think, at like keeping the integrity of my papa's like writing. So I'm super happy with this. I feel like it looks so much better. And then I also got another tattoo. <laughs> so this is the new one that I got, but like I'm actually obsessed with it. If you guys want an updated tattoo video where I actually go into like complete depth of all of my tattoos, like there is not one tattoo on my body that doesn't have multiple meanings, including my new one. If you guys want that, just let me know, but a, a general rundown of why I got this. So all of the elements have like a symbol in terms of triangles and the one that's upside down like the one on my arm is the sign for water and I am a water sign but when I look at it from my perspective it's a right side up triangle which means fire everything that's led in <laughs> led in my life to date I think most of it I went through it so insecure I feel in like the most sure of and secure within myself than I have ever in my life. Just a very gratifying feeling, I guess you could say, because I used to be so self-conscious of the things that made me me, like being sensitive and being, you know, kind of emotional and things like that. I used to try and hide them and I used to try and, you know, I just was like super insecure about it. So that's why I kind of got it. You can be water and fire. You can be emotional, you can have mental health issues, you can have like the world kick you, but you can still be fire. Like you can still be strong and, and nobody needs to tell you that you're fire. Like you just need to see that you're fire. Does that make sense? It's like kind of an illusion. I don't know. I, I think way too heavily into these things, but that's kind of the idea behind my knee tattoo. So I'm super happy about it. I've been meaning to get these touched up for so long. And this week that just passed was actually the anniversary of my papa's passing. So I just felt it was right. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as for my video schedule, it's going to be every single Sunday up until the 12th. 12 days of Camus, which I believe starts on December 14th, the 13th, it starts on the 13th. So until then, it's going to be videos every Sunday. And aside from that, thank you guys so much for chilling with me. It was a good time. We had a good time.